Hey guys, CK here. Welcome to another vlog. In today's video, I'm going to share with you, I'm going to replace the king size bed frame from IKEA, which I've been using this for more than four years. And as you can see the setup, I have the sofa bed here and I have some mattress over here and there and has a baby crib. Because uh, we have uh, baby Haley, which is one and a half years old and she might fall down from the bed so it's better to put some mattress and the sofa bed around the bed just to protect her from falling down from the, the bed Okay, so why I'm changing the bed frame? Because, as you can see here, there is a gap When I bought the king size bed, I actually didn't know there's a two size of a king size. I thought that all king size bed are standardized. There's a different length. What I bought, the mattress, is actually 190 centimeter length and the IKEA bed frame actually is a 200 centimeter. So I made a mistake. So as you can see, there's a 10 centimeter gap over here. And we have been using this bed frame more than four years and somehow it started to fall apart here. Maybe I show you close up and also here and I hate the design here because this is slightly higher I ordered a new bed frame about a month ago and it shipped from China and it finally arrived today it's at ground floor so the next thing I need to do is which is the most challenging part I have to remove this king size bed which is really really heavy and disassemble the bed frame clean up the floor and assemble the new bed frames Hey, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, hey, uh, be careful. Uh. One, two, three. <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, mommy, go. disassembled the bed frame and this place is vacant and all the bed frames parts screws and pieces are over here including all the nuts this is one of the parts of the bed frame as you can see this is loose what you need to do is put a plate put two subscribers reinforce it and you can reuse it again if you are looking for a king size bed frame and you don't mind a used one I would love to donate it to you. All you need to have is just a screwdriver and a huge Allen key and you will able to reassemble it by yourself. That's why I love IKEA furniture so much because it's so easy to assemble and disassemble. I actually spent less than 20 minutes to di disassemble the whole thing. Of course, you have to pick it up yourself. In case you can't pick it up yourself for whatever reason, you can probably hire like Lala Move, which I did just recently with my uh, gym station. So, of course, this is not an endorsed video. I just want to share my experience. I've used Lala Move. I think it's very easy to use and convenient. And I shift the whole gym station from Shah Alam to Rawang. And by the way, my place here is Rawang. If you are here nearby, of course, you can come here and pick it up. Comment below. Next. I'm going to vacuum the floor and clean the floor before I move the new bed frame pieces to the second floor for assembly. Now I've unboxed the new bed frame, all the pieces are over here. Now I can start assembling the new bed frame.
after we waited for more than a month for the shipping, eventually we received this new bed frame, completed assembly, and tonight we're gonna enjoy the new bed. Before that, I have considered buying the new Muji bed frame, which looks very similar with this one. It has the simplicity and the wooden design, but Muji has better quality and costs three to four thousand ringgit, including the headboard. This one only costs one thousand ringgit. So can't compare. I have to compensate with the quality for the price. That's the sharing for today's vlog. Hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.